Hey everyone, Andy here from Abel Cinetech in New York, and today I'm checking out the brand new Key Pro Mini from AJA. Uh, very, very excited to see this device. We heard about it a while back, and finally it's here. And yes, it is very mini. This is a successor to the original Key Pro, which is a bigger device, a uh, higher feature device, uh, but physically larger. So they made this device to be smaller, but still have the ability to record uh, in Apple ProRes compression. So it's a small external recorder that records and an Apple ProRes and a whole variety of Apple formats. That is the uh, 422HQ mode, the regular 422 mode, light and proxy. So it can record all those formats on this device onto regular compact flashcards. So here's a compact flashcard just like that. You can see I can get all these, all these formats onto this card. But the big thing here is that you need the fastest cards available really because you're running at ProRes HQ which is up to 220 megabits per second. So you need a card that can go really fast that includes the uh, Extreme Pros from SanDisk, Lexar 600s, or the highest end Hoodman cards. So be aware you need those cards, uh, but uh, other, other than that, uh, you're, you're in business. Now, I have it rigged up here with the uh, Sony F3. It's a beautiful camera, and it feeds out SDI right into the device. So I can record SDI feeds, HD SDI feeds, HD and HDMI feeds uh, from a, var a variety of cameras, but here I have it with the F3, which is a really nice combination. I have it rigged up on Rails, and uh, and I'll talk about the configuration a little bit later. Now, as you can see on the device here, I have my audio meters bouncing. This is actually the audio from my camera being shown here on the meter. Uh, I also have a, a variety of, of buttons that I can choose from. Now, really the big thing here is about just these three buttons. Uh, that let me get around the menu very quickly. It's very intuitive, very easy to get around. The button for status lets me see what I'm currently set to and what formats I'm getting into it. The configuration button that lets me uh, change my settings, my input options, my uh, my formats, etc., and my media button lets me format my cards and delete clips, etc. So very easy to get around there. Uh, also, just a simple playback control for playing back out my footage. So again, very intuitive. I like that a lot. Come out of the side here, and you can see the back end of it where I have my feeds going in and out. The top two plugs here are SDI inputs where I have my SDI coming from my camera in, and then I have it looping back out to a monitor, which is live and very, very easy to use. And then I additionally have an HDMI in and HDMI out for feeds. Now, the nice thing about this also is that I can send SDI in and then get HDMI out or vice versa. So it does convert live as well. I have a time code input here for uh, LCTC, LTC input. I have a LAN connector here so I can actually put it onto a network and control it remotely. Very cool. I have a LANC C connector here, which is basically a small connector that I could plug a Sony remote type into to start and stop the device. It's not currently active, but it will be in the future, and it even has a loop through so you can send a control through it to start, say, a camera uh, with this at the same time. Very, very nice. And then finally, I have two XLR analog audio inputs. So these are just regular analog audio inputs, so I can choose to use these analog audio inputs along with a video source, a digital video source. So nice features there. I have it rigged up here, as you can see on the, with the F3 with the Sakuto base plate, and then I've taken these two universal uh, mounting brackets on either side uh, to make a sort of cage for it. These are just the uh, mini uh, plates that you can get with the device and they actually have lots of screw holes and such so we actually attached an AJA uh, rod adapter that's from the original Key Pro here to make it put it all on the camera. So this is just a, a rig that you can put up together but a whole variety of rigs could be made to put this on rods. Uh, and in the back of this I put an Anton Bauer plate uh, that has some P-taps so I can power the camera as well as the Key Pro which takes an XLR4 input on the bottom. So I have it rigged up this way, Anton Bauer battery as you can see about the same size as the device itself and it holds up very nicely. So this is a really cool configuration. You can build it a lot of ways. You can have this on your, uh, on your table or on your belt or wherever you want it. It is very small and very light. It runs on XLR4 so uh, with this system where this whole thing works out of XLR4 12 volt power so it's very easy to set up. So that's the, the system. It's a really cool combination of this camera and, and the recorder, but you can use a whole variety of cameras, anything with an HDMI or an SDI output. So uh, very cool to see that we got it here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.